What's going on guys, JSGC here and we are here for another Manchester City video today. We're going to be doing the Premier League preview between Manchester City and West Ham. Before we crack on with this video, make sure like always if you are enjoying the content and you want to help to support the content created on my channel, then do subscribe, it is free. Press that red button, press the bell and put your push notifications on. We're less than 400 subscribers now away from my target of 16,000 subscribers. Don't forget also social media links in the description description below sliding across at the bottom of the screen if you want to go and follow me on my Twitter and Instagram email also in the description below too if you want to hit me up for any sponsorship training videos or any general business inquiries leave a thumbs up if you do enjoy this video and let me know what your score and team predictions in the comments below so it's Manchester City taking on West Ham at the Etihad Stadium on the 27th of February 2021 it is a 12:30 p.m. GMT kickoff time and the game if you are in the UK is live on BT Sport. So we're going to start off first by speaking about our opposition West Ham. Currently fourth in the Premier League. They're having an outstanding season so far. They're two points clear of Chelsea in fifth. They're four points behind Leicester in third. If the season was to end right now um, then West Ham would be in the Champions League place which uh, is showing just how well they are doing and what a great job David Moyes is doing uh, at West Ham. Uh, now um, they've got 13 games left between now and the end of the season. I would presume that West Ham are looking to try and uh, get a European spot for them next season to play European football. That would be their big game. That would be a really good season for them. Uh, however, like I said, they're sitting in fourth. Uh, they know if they win this game, uh, then uh, realistically, uh, a Champions League place isn't certainly out of reach for them. Uh, I'm hoping here that Manchester City uh, can win this game, but it's uh, showing no doubt of what a great season West Ham are having. Now, they've won their last two games, albeit they were both at home. Uh, before that, they lost and drew uh, their game, so their form... Uh, has just started to pick up again over the last week or so. Their last game, they beat Tottenham Hotspur uh, at the London City Stadium 2-1. Uh, so that was a really good win for them. Uh, and West Ham are showcasing that this definitely will not be an easy game for Manchester City. Now, looking towards West Ham's squad and who I'm expecting to start, uh, I imagine they'll probably go with a very similar team to what they went against Spurs. It might even be... Uh, an unchanged 11 for them. So I'm going to go for Fabi uh, Fabianski that will start in goal. I imagine we'll see Aaron Quest uh, Cresswell starting as well. Uh, Declan Rice having a great season. I imagine he'll be starting. Uh, Jared Bowen, Jesse Lingard seems rejuvenated at West Ham since leaving Manchester United. Pablo Fornals, uh, Mikel Antonio as well. Uh, these are players that I'm expecting to see start against City. Uh, and like I said, they all did start against uh, Tottenham Hotspur as well. Looking towards uh, the bench, uh, Noble, Lanzini, Ben Rama, these are all players that could well feature uh, as well. They've got a good squad in my opinion. Uh, they're doing really well under David Moyes. I'm expecting West Ham to sit very deep, uh, cover all the space, make sure there is no gaps uh, for Manchester City to exploit. Uh, and they'll look to gather from there. Keep things tight. Don't concede early. First 15, 20 minutes, try and keep Manchester City at bay. When they're coming forward, West Ham will need to be clinical. Uh, I'm anticipating this if David Moyes is playing. I'm not an expert on West Ham, by the way, but if uh, he's got them playing like how he had Everton setting up uh, when he was manager at Everton, then they're going to be a very difficult team to break down and a difficult team to beat. A team that would be more than happy to nil-nil this uh, and take a point. So Manchester City uh, needs to be at their creative best. So uh, if I was Manchester City, I know we're going to be doing a bit of squad rotation. Uh, I'd have a creativity in mind when making that uh, rotation. Now, uh, speaking of Manchester City, uh, we'll move on to us. Uh, City in great form, 25 games unbeaten, 19 wins in a row. First, 10 points clear at the top. Let's go. We're in great form. Life's good right now if you are a Manchester City fan. Um, however, like I said, I don't think this is going to be an easy game and I'm hoping that we can extend our uh, winning streak uh, to 20 wins uh, in all competitions. Uh, like I said, I am expecting some squad rotation. I'd have thought uh, we'd go with creativity in mind. Players like Mares. De Bruyne, Sergio Aguero, players that came off the bench against Mönchengladbach in midweek that will uh, probably start uh, in this game. In fact, Manchester City have a near full strength uh, squad to choose from. It's just Nathan Ake that's struggling at this moment in time, but even he is on his way to uh, full fitness as well. So I'm expecting that we'll get him back 
sooner rather than later. Now, my score prediction for this game, I'm going for 2-0 to Manchester City. I'm going for a goal in either half. Um, I'll go through my team prediction in just one moment, but I reckon uh, the goals will come uh, via Sergio Aguero. I'm hoping that he will start. I think he'll get a goal, and I'm also going to go for a penalty. I'm not too sure who's going to take that penalty. Take your pick out of any of the players. I'm a big fan of Edison taking penalties, but uh, yeah, I know some people aren't too keen on that. So, I'm going to pop up my team prediction now for you. I've gone for Edison in goal, Cancelo, because he's tremendous and needs to be starting every single game. Starting at right back and Zinchenko at left back, like I said, creativity in mind. Uh, I reckon Diaz might get a rest for this game, and it'll be John Stones, who didn't start in the last game, starting in this game, along with a Merrick Laporte. I'm going for Fernandinho to give Rodri a little rest, playing at defensive midfield once more, uh, and I'm going for Kevin De Bruyne and Bernardo Silva to sit further ahead of him. Wouldn't surprise me if uh, we went with Fernandinho, Gundogan and De Bruyne. It wouldn't surprise me if we went with a full strength Rodri, De Bruyne and... Um Ilkay Gundogan as well that wouldn't surprise me at all either uh, and give Bernardo a rest but I'm going for Fernandinho De Bruyne and Bernardo Silva I've gone for Mares on the right wing Ferran Torres on the left wing and like I said I'm predicting Sergio Aguero to get his first start in ages to be starting to lead the line for Manchester City uh, I think it's uh, the players that did play against Munchen Gladbach uh, quite a few of the players have had a lot of games under their legs that uh, I would like I said have squad rotation in mind we're playing every three to four days we've got another game in midweek, another Premier League game to look forward to at home uh, against Wolves, which is going to be also a very tricky game for us to take in mind. So I'm, I'm just expecting Manchester City to do squad rotation uh, from now for the foreseeable future, at least until uh, the international break. So yeah, there is my team prediction for this game. And I would like to know your team prediction in the comments below and your score prediction as well. Don't forget also to leave a thumbs up if you did enjoy this video. Don't forget also to subscribe. Press that red button, press the bell and put your push notifications on. Like I said, we are aiming for 16,000 subscribers now on the JSGC channel. We're less than 400 subs away. So if you haven't already and you're interested in all things football and all things Manchester City, then do subscribe. Don't forget also social media links. They're in the description below and sliding across at the bottom of the screen. If you want to go and follow me on my Twitter and Instagram, my email also in the description below too. If you want to hit me up for any sponsorships for any videos or any general business inquiries, I'm actively seeking a sponsor for my daily Manchester City transfer updates throughout the summer transfer window. It's going to be very busy. I'm expecting it to do well for views so or a good business proposal there for anybody that is interested. Don't forget also uh, like, comment, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. Uh, and I'll see you all again for the next Manchester City video, which will be my live watch along going live at midday GMT in the UK for everybody to look forward to. So I'll see you then. Plenty more Manchester City content to come. So I've been JSGC. I hope everyone is safe and well. Thank you everyone for watching. Peace. Ciao for now. <laughs>